So today I'm going to be making harvest muffins. So these are the ingredients. You will need two medium chopped apples that I put a half teaspoon of cinnamon and a tablespoon of granulated Splenda and two tablespoons of water and I just cooked them down till they got soft. You will need one cup of pumpkin puree. You can use the can. I just happen to have fresh that I froze previously on hand. One mashed banana. I had previously frozen this banana. That's why it looks like that. Um, when my when my bananas get too ripe, I just put them in the freezer for to use in breads and oatmeal, whatever you want to cook them in. One egg and one egg white. One third cup of granulated Splenda. One container of unsweetened applesauce, which is the equivalent of a half a cup. Four tablespoons of flaxseed, ground flaxseed, and this is the flaxseed that I'm using. A half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon. One teaspoon of baking powder and a fourth teaspoon of salt. Two cups of the quick cook oatmeal. And I'm going to put some vanilla extract. I'm probably going to put about a half a teaspoon. One fourth cup of Fairlife fat free milk. That's the brand that I use. If you don't have Fairlife, you can use one fourth cup or whatever milk you have. It's just that Fairlife milk, one fourth cup is zero points. So, you know, if you use different brands, then it may change the point value. So those are all of my ingredients. So I'm going to get started mixing all of my dry ingredients together and all of my wet ingredients together in a separate bowl. I'll be back. So I am preheating the oven at 350 degrees. I have sprayed my muffin tin with nuns and my dry ingredients are all mixed together as well as my wet ingredients. So I'm going to combine the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients and mix together. going to equally divide the mix into my muffin tin. To make sure that I get the equal amount, I'm going to be using one third cup measure to divvy up the mixture. So I have this much left in my container, so I'm going to equally divide this as best I can. I'm not going to use a measure, I'm just going to eyeball it to try to fill up these muffin tins. Because these muffins are not going to rise that much, so I'm just going to fill up the pan.
Now we're going to place them in a 350 degree oven and I guess it probably will take about 25 to 30 minutes, but I'll come back and let you know how long it took. I just took my muffins out of the oven. They took 20 minutes at 350. I'm going to let them rest in the pan for about five minutes and then I'm going to transfer them to this cooling rack. So here are my muffins. I have them on the cooling rack. So I'm going to let them cool and then I'll come back for a taste test. So it is time for the taste test. So let's see. Can you see that? It is full of apples. Not too sweet. I like it. So, this creation is a keeper. Let me know if you make it or if you decide to make it, let me know how it turns out for you. You may want to make it sweeter. It's just sweet enough for me. So, until next time, be blessed. Oh, wait. I forgot to tell you. I'll have the nutritional information at the end of this video as well as the point value, the points plus value, smart point value, and freestyle point value. Bye.